Hello and welcome! Welcome to Zombie Survivors! Now this game came out actually a couple of years back, it was in fact one of the original Vampire Survivor clones, to the, kind of to the point where it's a legally distinct version of it, trust me bro, it's a brand new or original idea, and well I haven't actually played it for nearly two years and since then it's received a whopping was it two or three updates it's essentially just throw it at a finished version and that's that but you know it's been a while and I've had a couple of hours of fun so I thought why not come back to it after a while and see what's changed so for example there are leaderboards for the daily run at the very least um, and as you can see this game is incredibly popular um, played by many people every day I'm probably the only one who's played it today um, maybe even this year but anyway we have a deck builder where we can select our weapons and since I last played they've added a couple of them maybe I've maybe I've used them before um, you know, maybe they've just reset the data. I know this one's new, so if I could find a spot for it, I could add it. But I cannot. So may maybe this useless th thing. Let let's drop the knife and put in the lightning. Another new one that I saw in the patch notes, all two of them, is this huge thing, and I'm not fitting this bastard anywhere. But let's save it and. Let's go for a play. We have a couple of characters. Starts with two, two I think. Um, hmm. Two items apparently. One, either two guns or one weapon and one bonus. Each one has different stats. We can also re-roll them as many, probably as often as we want. I don't really want this throwing eye, that's for sure. Scythe and exploding enemies, pretty solid. None of these actually mean anything to me because I've forgotten all of them. And this is the game. We ha we for this character we start with the scythe and we kill zombies. And on level up, we either up a big. We have three choices: we either upgrade an existing one, pick a new one, or do the same for a bonus item. Also, we can um, put some points into our characters to just give them some boosts, which kind of really works the same as a meta, sort of a meta progression. But you know, let's keep upgrading his health and see how far we can get. I don't remember actually ever finish um, getting to the end, and obviously, we get, get, getting hit means we get a hit marker. Sound early 2012-ish. Uh, attack speed, boomerang. Yeah, let's go with the boomerang. It goes in a random direction and comes back to me. Increased attack speed, more damage. So we can have up to six weapons and up to six types of bonuses. It's pretty simple, it's pretty early Vampire Survivor clones. That's kind of it to this game. But you know, I think it's still pretty decent. Uh, decent fun for a couple of hours, maybe if there's a sale. I don't think it's ever been on one. But you know, we can have a look back at how the original uh, Vampire Survivors games used to be. Um, clones, rather, before they decided that, you know what, if we're going to clone Vampire Survivors, maybe we should try something different. And that gives me an idea for a Monday's video. It's a bit of a um, so it certainly works, it's a bit of a joke, but uh, yeah, very much an upgrade of the themes. Okay, so here's one of the new items, lightning. I don't have to guess what it does, and 
of course it does exactly what the lightning item does in the original game. Yeah, I'll get a speed boost. It's kind of a decent throwback. I haven't actually played the original Vampire Survivors for quite a while. I used to have 100% achievements uh, on it, but since then there's been plenty of updates. And maybe it's worth looking back at it again. At the very least, uh, to play it on my own time. You know, it is the original and it's honestly a pretty good one. Gun. And at the bottom, we can see that uh, the damage each one of our weapons has done. At the very least, that is pretty nice to have. Twirl, obviously the legally distinct garlic. No, not garlic, sorry. What was it? The book, I believe. That spins around, does just a little bit of damage. And obviously lightning, doing most of, most of it. For now, and probably even later. On every few waves, we get a mini boss. Now, with the introduction of lightning, we could just keep our distance and have it deal a little bit of damage to it from safety. I do remember being kind of annoying at times to deal with these to deal with the um, balls of pain that it um, sprays out all over. But looking at it now, I can't believe I... I can't believe I ever had any trouble with it. So I do have to say... Maybe I'm misremembering or something. That is also a possibility. Or maybe it was what I was actually remembering was me being really clumsy. And just walking into those balls. Almost like that. Hang on. We already have six weapons. Uh, we can delete them, by the way. That is pretty nice. So I reckon that is just so we can exchange instead of just having to go with an empty slot for a while. Pretty nice. Oh, yeah, I suppose that that is exactly what I meant. I'm just clumsily walking into it. But it doesn't seem to do as much damage as I remember. I've... In my defense, however, uh, it's been almost two years and that is a lot longer than I can remember. We have plenty of weapons. A boomerang, a rocket launcher and speed boost. Normally I don't care much for movement speed. Ow. Okay. Okay, never mind. Never mind. If you're clumsy like me and good at only either aiming or dodging, not that I have too much aiming, then you might be unfortunate enough to run, run into a big red ball from time to time. Now that is more like what I remember. More rockets, more luck, more damage. Let's go for more damage. And we're also making sure to dodge. And let's get that pizza. We have 17 HP. We have 27. Dodge. Now we get some cheese. By the looks of things, the type of food does not matter. I think we've killed it. Judging by the fact that there's no 
big red balls coming at you. I could have sworn it used to drop something. Ah, yeah, fair enough. It can be a bit annoying that most of your slots are just an offer for a new weapon instead of an upgrade. Oh, let's get some more healing. I'm going to be very clumsy. It is guaranteed. Ow. Case in point. And here we have an air drop. Coming in. We just need to get rid of the riffraff around it. And boom. That is what we get. Shoots more bullets. Not stronger, not faster. Uh, maybe I could drop something for something else. Yeah, the spinners are kind of garbage at, at the, for now. So I don't think I'll go. That said, if stuff gets a bit too close. Especially with the knockback caused by the explosions. I think that might be a... Yeah, Reagan. I think I've had... I think they've just cleared all... Of the... Uh, progress. When, when the dev decided to not really bother de developing it with more, more stuff. I just go for the full release. But hey, look, the lightning's distinct instead of more projectiles, you just get the same projectile more often. Now, I am speaking quite negatively about this, and maybe I'm going a little bit over the top, um, but I don't really think uh, it's that unwarranted. Especially, well, mainly because this game kind of goes abandoned. You know, it's a it's a vampire survivor clone. It combines the gameplay of loop of vampire survivors with a bunch of zombies, and I do I do actually kind of like the um, simplistic, the extra simplistic um, pixel graphic style that it has. So it could have had potential. It's just wait, it's just kind of wasted. And I'm very good at wasting potential. I checked the wikis uh, for Vampire Survivors, and that came out in early access in late 21. Uh, and I last played this game in particular in spring 22. So can't, before even the full release of Vampire Survivors. Uh, back then, there wasn't really that. My choice, as I mentioned earlier, it's it's kind of like it's kind of like the future diary uh, of video games. Looking back back on it, it's, it's it's not it's not a very good anime. But back then, it was really cool. I was a big fan of it. And to be honest, the opening still kind of slaps. And even though the protagonist is an utter wimp. Really, I can't believe I didn't think of the back there of that as well already. But you know, it's kind of the same thing. Uh, the type of the kind of supernatural death game kind of thing genre hadn't really blossomed just yet, and it was one of the earlier adapters. Plus, you know, definitely didn't have a pressure you know back then. Um, Perhaps it might be an kind of an obscure reference, and it's a weird comparison, but I personally I think it makes sense. You know, I often do not make sense, but I think for once there's something about it. Some, so it's a valid link. 
I'll, and I'll be back to your, the usual talking of complete and utter nonsense in five seconds. I'm, I'm still walking in circles, so literally running rings around these dudes. And the twin twirls are still not doing 10k damage. The rocket launcher is doing most of the work now. More size. Let's see if we can have that catch up. Well, that was fast. That was actually pretty rapid. And yeah, w once these dogs catch up to you, if you can't get rid of them quickly enough, there's really not that much you can do. And there's not. And this is kind of the only meta progression in this game has. For specific characters, you can re-roll and just lose your, all your progress, so... Honestly, damage and move speed is, is kind of really what um, killed our run for us. Let's do a daily run, though. We get a random character. Well, the same character, really. And dropping... Green get green fuel, green petrol gas. Are there green? And there's probably some kind of green fuel. Um, kind of only used to petrol and deals and that kind of stuff. And we also have racing time. Increase speed while moving. You know, as opposed to increasing movement speed while not moving. And it's kind of the same. Uh, and this character hasn't got any move speed at all. You know what, let's go for defense. Let's take less damage. Because taking less damage is the key to survival. And we are up against the leaderboard, so we have to make sure we do well. And I reckon we are in for a good position. Because this run is going unprecedentally well. Oh, accidentally having some issues saying the right words. But you know, we're getting there eventually. Gone. Pow. You know, it's not, it's not a bad game, it's just wasted potential. I'm kind of repeating myself, yes, I know. But I am having fun, there's not much in it. But what is there is, you know, fine. For a couple of hours, it may, maybe not the most balanced game, not the best looking. Or the most original. But you know what? It is a game. Maybe you could call it as a, a trailblazer clone. Other games thrived. So this could die quite. This died so others could learn from it. And eventually we go and get we're getting yet another batch of survivors clones. Such as Nimrods. It's a different take. And I reckon it's pretty good. It's a good it's a lot of fun. You know, e even though it's already just a de demo. There's easily dozens of hours as you try to figure out the synergies and everything else. As for this, there's not so much. Uh, I 
I do recall there being another area. A different area? Like a city. Didn't end up reaching it this time. This run. Or the last run, rather. So, it's more than... <coughs> excuse me. It's more than just an empty plane. Oh, what a shame. R.I.P. Amya Strong. Let's check our position on the leaderboard. And oh my god, we're first. I didn't think I could make it. But eventually, with perseverance and enough attempts, we got there eventually. Congratulations, Cell 5. Yes. But, but yeah, that, that, that has been Zombie Survivors. At the very least, a little bit of it. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like, perhaps even a comment or even a subscription. Thank you so much for watching this far, and I will see you next time. Bye!